Hello chess lovers, I have a very dramatic game for you played on chess.com during titled Tuesday. With the white pieces is playing, Kevin Bordy was playing under a nickname Blitzstream and his opponent is the reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen. This was a 3 minute game and Kevin Bordy came up with a very daring decision. He started with g4, going for group opening, d5 by Carlsen, bishop g2 and c6. Well, black can capture on g4, though after c4, c6, queen b3, white is aiming at the weakened d5 and b7 squares, an attack that may well be worth a pawn, but instead after bishop g G2, Carlsen played c6, g5, e5, d4, e4, c4, bishop d6, knight c3, knight e7, queen b3. Now white is starting to put pressure on d5 square. Black castles, h4, of course white can't win a pawn by capturing on d5 because in the end of the day black has this bishop before check winning the queen. That's why we see h4, knight a6, a3, rook b8 protecting this pawn and black is going to develop the bishop. Knight h3, bishop e6, c5, bishop c7 and now after bishop c7 this knight is out of the game. Knight f4, b6 trying to create some counterplay on the queen side queen a4 queen c8 protecting the knight b4 b takes c5 b takes c5 knight f5 knight takes e6 f takes e6 e3 rook a8 bishop d2 knight b8 trying to bring this knight into the game rook b1 this white rook is occupying the b file a5 King d1, white decided to bring his king to c2 square and then start an attack on the king side. Rook a7, king c2, e5, Carlsen is trying to open up the center and target white king. And a bad move by white, knight e2, well actually bishop h3 is better pinning this knight. But this knight e2 move allows black to gain initiative at once. Though Carlsen didn't use his chance and he played queen a6, it was better to capture on d4 and only then play queen a6. If knight c1, then black has a fantastic move, queen b5. The idea is that if rook takes b5 then black can capture on b5 and now there is no safe square for this queen. If queen takes b5 then knight d4 check forking the king and the queen and black is winning. But of course finding this line during a 3 minute game is extremely difficult. Let's go back after knight e2 we see queen a6. Now comes bishop f1. Knight e7, of course, playing queen d3 check is not dangerous. Knight f4, queen c8, bishop h3, and queen e8. A better move was playing knight f5 and not allowing knight e6. But this queen e8 move allows white knight to jump to e6 square, and now Carlsen is in trouble. Rook takes f2, knight takes c7, rook takes c7, queen takes a5, knight a6. Now white has two choices, either to capture on a6 or rook f1, well actually capturing on a6 is also a play, but this is just winning for white. But instead we see rook f1, rook takes f1, rook takes f1, rook a7, d takes e5, rook a8, bishop c3, d4, and bishop takes d4. It was important to play bishop e6 check on and only then capture on d4 because now if knight d5 then white can capture on d5 and then play e6. If queen takes e6 then simply queen b6 offering an exchange of queens going for a one end game. But instead after d4 white played bishop takes d4 and now comes knight d5. Queen e1, knight c7, Queen f2, rook takes a3 and a bad move by white e6. And after this e6 move, black can actually win the game by playing knight b4 check. If king b1 then rook b3 check and if bishop b2 then knight d3 and white is in trouble. 
But after e6, Carlsen played rook a2 check, but now white plays bishop b2 covering the king. And now this knight b4 move is not dangerous, here comes king b1. Carlsen played rook takes b2, getting rid of this dangerous bishop, because there was always a threat of queen f7 check. For example, just a random move, if knight d5, then white can play queen f7 check, and after the exchange on f7, king f8, white can sacrifice his bishop on g7, freeing the f8 square and promoting the pawn to a queen, and then checkmating black king. Let's go back. After king b1, we see rook takes b2 check. Queen takes b2, knight d5, and now white has an easy chance to win the game on the spot. Can you find that winning move for white? Ready? Rook f7 is actually winning on the spot. It's very difficult to find a good move for black. Actually, the engine shows checkmate in 19 moves. Black has to give up his queen. But instead, after knight b5, Kevin Bordy played queen e5 which allows Carlsen to play queen b8 check and then start a perpetual check. Queen d6, the threat is rook f8 checkmate, but here comes queen c4 check and Carlsen started to give a perpetual check. Black queen is simply chasing white king and this is a draw. The game ended in a draw. A very interesting game, I think, how white started the game with g4 going for that rare group opening and we saw a lot of fireworks on the board. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this game? Good luck.